back to the episode of Last Day on Earth. Today we're returning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Hopefully everyone's having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing Friday event. Only because we're getting better from here on out. I know that I'm doing pretty fan freaking fantastic because uh, guess what I got from a delivery earlier the other day? Boom! That's right, baby. We got our hands on an ATV transmission from some incredible luck, which already is kicking off my day with a smile. And hopefully some of the shenanigans we are getting into can help to spread some smiles and joys your way as well. Because trust me, today will be filled with shenanigans and hopefully a very useful trick for the alls of y'all doing sewer runs out there as well. But first things first, let's make sure that we go ahead and put this thing away. Do not want to be traveling out of uh, anyway with the NATV transmission. We are stockpiling that even though I already have the ATV built. It might one day be useful to trade in similar to how you can actually level up your chopper, such as how we got ours up to level 40, as y'all can see over here in the back, level 44. We did that a lot via trading in like old chopper parts, like chopper gas tanks, chopper forks, and that type of jazz. So that's why I am continuing to stockpile, and it's an ATV transmission, dude. Like, that's a rare thing to come across. And speaking of choppers and vehicles, we also got something else to go ahead and pop on today. As much fun as it has been to travel around with Rudolph, our little buddy Travis is jealous. We're bringing Travis back and he doesn't want Rudolph along for the ride. Rudolph is a poopy head. And listen, what Travis wants, Travis gets, all right, especially because this turtle's been napping for a little bit and we've been kind of rocking some of the new seasonal backpacks, but everyone's fan of favorite Travis is back to play. But we got some new stuff coming your way in the form of the Bells, the brand new chopper that can be gotten from the gas station. Boom! That we have just painted with 30 red paints and 10 yellows in there. You can see we're gonna be getting all sorts of holy and jolly up in here, especially I'm personally pretty holly jolly because uh, 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 I talked to my healer buddy and you know what he did to me? He gave me his seasoned meat, baby! Still question why seasoned is in quotation marks, but I digress. Damage done by firearms increased by 10%. So for our sewer run that we got lined up for today, that we're hopefully going to be showing off that trick of which I speak and hopefully getting some major progress done for none other than the motorboats. Uh, we are going to have our guns ready to be dealing a poop ton more damage than usual. So without further ado, let's set out to the sewer location. But yeah, hopefully everyone out there is having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety. That only keeps on getting better uh, from here on out. Whether that be from the video, bring you a smile, bring you a giggle, anything or everything like that does not matter to me. How a little bit of joy can go out and make its way into your day today. I'm just crossing my fingers that indeedly do. That's exactly what the joy do do. Whether it be directly from some goofitude, goofs and gaffs that we get into throughout today, or whether it just me be me hopefully crossing my fingers and wishing y'all a good day. Hopefully something going on either directly or indirectly with y'all does go for the better hopefully y'all's day only gets better hopefully y'all had an awesome weekend hopefully y'all have a great week coming up and uh, hopefully all of us can get our motorboats built here on the asap too so we are due to go down into the depths of the sewer but also we're due to go ahead and knock out some of these deliveries which have been treating me rather nicely speaking of deliveries such as those that i was knocking out we got some levels to go ahead and claim baby including level 14 and the crane key that awaits us and who Baby, you already know that we got at least one more level coming our way too. But uh, before we go too ham with that, let me just say... I'm craving it. I'm craving it even though I have been saying and I have been preaching that you want to stockpile our crane keys. We're going to continue stockpiling them a little bit because the high reputation level that you have, like it literally says right there, your rewards only continue to increase. We're going to continue doing that. But listen, we haven't redeemed a crane key in a while. So at the very least... Let's activate one of these puppies. Let's bring some stuff back home and cleanse this. And then we'll resume with our shenanigans. Because what better way to start off today than with an opening of the most highly anticipated crate. I mean, you know, at least so far that we know of. Who knows what the new locations that the, motor that the motorboat unlock are going to hold. But uh, at least out of this like motor, like out of, out, not out of the motorboat, but out of like the harbor location so far, this definitely has the most hyped for loot. This is the first one we've opened in a while and I believe that there are going to be a ton of new rewards awaiting for us inside of this too. So uh, let's go ahead and haul this puppy back home on Santa Slay! Ho, ho, ho! Merry, very belated Christmas, baby! And don't get me wrong, if I honestly, if I had no idea what that box was and I saw that abomination under my tree, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be a little bit scared, actually. I'd be like, dude, Santa Claus, what did I do wrong? Just give me coal instead. Why is my chest breathing with barnacles on it? But uh, luckily, we know the context of the situation and we know with a little bit of acid to, uh, you know, uh, sprinkle on top of this thing. It's going to get a whole lot more interesting, boys and girls. So let's go ahead and pop our way back on home. 
and take this puppy off of the back of our thingy majig and travel across the entirety of my map. I really gotta make the, I like realistically speaking, as you guys know, one thing I've been hyping up a lot is that now that we actually have done a lot of base reorganizing, our chests are like super organized, the sentence that I never thought would come out of my mouth, right? But they are now like very, very organized. And what I do wanna end up doing is actually ultimately redesigning our base a little bit. And I think one of the big things I wanna do with the redesign is make sure that the acid bath is a lot closer to the garage. I feel like that will just be good because usually the acid bath requires things from the back of our chopper or ATV. Honestly, we should position those both, all three of those things in close proximity. That'd be kind of hype. But speaking of hype, bloop, let's go and get some hype going with that. Of course, first we gotta get the magic material known as acid itself. And then we'll go ahead and hit this. Uh, there you go. I think we should just need three of them from our little stockpile over there. And then we'll go ahead and hit this uh, a sunken box over here with a little bit of a uh, star snipe sneak attack. Ho oh, ho! It had no idea what was coming in. Hello, let's go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. You see? it first hand with your eyes we got a propeller from this thing that is what you love to see that brings our grand total up to three and like tripoloski we're gonna do something awesome with this baby we're going to go and get our very first engine but in the meantime, we also do have some other really cool things over here. Obviously, we're collecting some more fiberglass and some more glass and other materials that are going to be useful for building the boat. The titanium uh, parts are not useful for building the boat, but they're very useful for scrapping. And that actually correlates to another thing that's kind of going on at our base that we'll go ahead and give uh, some context to. But first, give me those two things. Hopefully, we get a lot of pumps today. Like, I think pumps are going to be, now that we can get propellers, now that we're at high enough reputation level, our crane keys, of which we already have three more, but we are continuing to stockpile them a little bit. They should all be able to now get us exactly what we're looking for. We might need to craft a few more fiberglass, but I, we're fine on propellers, which now means that we should be good to go over here on the, where, where is the, the, there it is, the boat engine, learn it. We are going to be just fine over here with the boat engine, which again, requires a lot of wrenches, which is why I've always hyped up wrenches, dude. They're a pain in the butt if you got to go out of your way to find them. So that's why whenever you come across them, make sure you grab them because, uh, I mean, right over here, we need 20 of them to finish the boat and we got 20 coming right up. But the thing that I was talking about with the titanium parts is a big reason why over here we are recycling so much stuff to get our mechanics level up. A lot of the things that you're going to recycle actually do involve like ATV parts, like ATV wheels, chopper parts, like the chopper wheels, zombie truck wheels, all that jazz to level up your mechanics level. And you need, you need a high mechanics level for a better chance of getting titanium from these fragments of the titanium armor suit. Our level is about to hit 46, so we're doing really nice leveling that up. It pains my soul to have to recycle the uh, engine parts, but the engine parts are kind of nifty because they actually stack whereas a lot of the other things that are recycled like for example uh chopper wheels chopper forks you can't really stack these things yeah no, it's like they, 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 they don't stack but that's a okay baby that's not to get thing in the way because ladies and gentlemen boys and girls may i introduce to you half of the battle for getting the motorboat built in the boat engine the compartment department whatever you want to call it and also our first ever entry our first ever acquisition of the boat engine welcome my friend i can't wait to shove you into that boat and get to drive it on them waters let's go look at that puppy the boat engine a powerful energy efficient motor to mount on your boat oh we gonna be mounting it baby we gonna be mounting it real good uh, in the future because for now i'm trying to save up all the parts so we can literally build all of the motorboat in one go we are just fine on glass we'll continue to get fiberglass and the rest of the propellers we need uh, from the crane keys and we can also craft fiberglass uh with glass and stuff however the big thing that again we're about to go hunting for that we need is the pumps so let's go and pump it up baby and also we'll go and uh, put the titanium parts away but let's go and pump it up also speaking of things that i'm pumped for i'm also very pumped up for our uh, twitch.tv slash star live stream going on on friday 6 p.m eastern time we are live every single friday at the same time if you guys don't know what time that is in your local time zone you can also go to that link in the description and the pinned comment not just to go to our profile at twitch.tv slash star but there's another link twitch.tv slash star slash slash schedule that lets you guys know exactly what time that that scheduled live stream does start in your own local time zone which is very handy because there are 
are a lot of time zones across the world it's an awesome way to kick off your weekend every single week plus we do some bonus streams as well so make sure you guys have a twitch account and us with that follow so you should be notified whenever we do go live with said bonus streams and especially you want to have a twitch account created because then you can link your last day on earth account via this button to twitch and then you will start getting free stuff you get a chance of free stuff every 30 minutes of watching the stream including things that normally cost money like these special forces pack you can even get old chopper skins that are no longer attainable you can even get base decorations like the mannequin for your base and you can even get uh even coins and stuff like that it's seriously some goodness so yeah looking forward to seeing y'all over there every friday at that same time that we do go live it's an awesome way to kick off the weekend we got the face cam turned down we got the live chat so y'all can hang out chill super hype super awesome we're usually playing last day on earth on fridays and who knows maybe some bonus streams with some other games as well but plenty of last day on earth going on but uh, speaking of plenty of last day on earth we got plenty of last day on earth shenanigans still to come today and that comes in the form of some of these deliveries before we head down into the depths of the sewers where there is also a little trick that we're going to be showing on our little trip on our favorite metaphorical rocket ship star what are you talking about i don't know i just wanted to say a, 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 a rocket ship trip i don't know i just wanted to say it let's go ahead and get this thing going 50 reputation points at stake we want to make sure to ensure that and get all those crates associated with it even though it does cost us a little bit of coinage it will be the key to us being able to hopefully speed run this motorboat as fast as possible and y'all know me i will stop it's nothing to bring to y'all the most magnificent content humanly imaginable and that does include making sacrifices of my own wallet because yolo dude if it means that i can make a cooler video if it means that i can make a more banger of a video and show off much more stuff i am 1000 percent cool with that because we got a lot a lot a lot of stuff to be shown and we want to get this motorboat about build asap and so much stuff like that so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because we got many more shenanigans to come let's ensure it let's send it and then we got some different types of deliveries to transition to as well my comrades uh, there's only one way to find out Woo! we got an axe i will break into someone's base with that after i build this boat because that has been priority number one by far and away for like literally just it's 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 ta it's an obsession it's taken over my life i must build the motorboat i've been waking up at like four I am every day so I can hit this uh, sewer with the refresh as soon as possible every single time I want no time wasted as soon as we get that 10th pump even if I'm not at max level for the crane keys which is kind of what I'm waiting for we're gonna redeem those things ASAP and uh, I don't need the ribbons but we're gonna be redeeming those things ASAP to get enough propellers to build the last uh, engine that we need and then baby greatness of uh, magnificent magnitudes will ensue but for now greatness of uh, smaller but still magnificent magnitudes is right in front of our eyeballs with some of these deliveries we're knocking out this one a little bit holiday theme that should also lead to some prizes coming our way and before we go ahead and send this let's just go ahead and double check really quickly too we were just getting a lot of reputation points if maybe i don't know jakey boy you have not level up for me yet unfortunate but it's such as life let's bet back though after this delivery we should be good to go and then many many reputations will be coming our way in another level which will then unlock the fourth slot hopefully like we're getting 56 reputation points here and from the math of the first few we were doing I i'd say we're definitely on pace after this delivery to be good to go and with some magnificent things like that going on it's great it's grand it's glorious what we are seeing will be more than good to go and there should be level 15 coming soon to a star snipe near you and dude speaking of level ups the level after 15 i'm just saying man we can start expecting the equalizer not just directly from jake my friend but also i believe that means it now has a chance of popping up after we get it from jake it has a chance of appearing in floppy disks too which is so freaking hype on its own accord but speaking of hype ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we now have four count them four christmas boxes ready to be delivered so let's just go ahead and make sure to deck those out and we gotta craft up four of these packages luckily we got plenty and i mean plenty of all of these christmas items due to the fact that we have been absolutely staying on top of uh whatchamacallit doing them every time that they respawn and also auto clearing them because y'all can auto clear that location three times every reset or respawn cycle and that ends up getting you a lot of stuff and i mean a lot of stuff that now has rendered us uh, very very nicely prepared for the trials and tribulations that the game has in store for us i also have a lot of ribbons because you don't directly need ribbons to actually do what you need to do i mean it obviously helps but uh yeah i mean they, they you only really need them to craft the boxes so i have a lot of leftover ribbons hopefully i end up getting another use for them because i'm 
I'm uh, I'm cool, G. I'm cool. We're gonna have four uh, coming right over. Yeah, as y'all noticed, I have a huge stockpile of ribbons. So that part of uh, filling up the truck, because if you guys recall, over at that seasonal location, which by the way, we should have very soon here, probably within the next episode, we are going to have a brand new seasonal location to check out that I'm so excited to see what that is gonna be all about. It might actually give us another way, another avenue of attaining these packages and stuff for these deliveries. And now look at that 60 season pass points and 60 the reputation points at stake and let's go baby hard to complain with that we got a little bit of a pistol and dude i can't wait to be utilizing all of that marvelous pistol drizzle shotgun rain even a little bit of ak thunder that we brought stockpiled because we're strapped and loaded call me rambo because we're about to be going bonkers in that sewer and the zombies are not going to be happy with the bonker dude that's going to be going on but there you have it the two christmas deliveries donezo and now i'm very happy that we reached level 15 before we started delivering these because these tend to give you the most reputation like these boxes tend to increase the amount of reputation you get the most so i am very excited to craft a lot of them and that is why i have brought uh, a lot of what we're going to be needing um i don't know english is hard i am gonna need to go ahead and craft some additional boxes i have just enough wrenches for what i gotta do but we're gonna have to craft some toolboxes via the magic of a uh, scrap metal and uh, iron ingots luckily we got uh actually the perfect amount of these things to go ahead and do exactly what needs to be done uh marvelous we gotta go ahead and grab a little bit extra scrap to finish up what we started over here or oh no never mind we need more iron than we need that i, I got that a little bit backwards uh we should still be actually have the perfect amount of iron here beautiful to get eight of those boxes eight wrenches and we got plenty of duct tape and other things to get this going so say hello to my eight new toolboxes coming shortly to a star snipe inventory near you let's go and get some of day's nuts up in there we're gonna need uh, some extras of those and hoo -hoo, nelly i am so excited to see how many points we are getting and then after we hit i believe level 18 we'll be able to max out these deliveries every time and we'll see exactly what the maximum amount of points possible is but right now we are hitting 64 with these deliveries dude we might even be able before we go down into the sewers to get ourselves another upgrade here uh in terms of levels which would be kind of freaking sick hey, hey the hitchhikers give us some booze i'll take it thank you hitchhiker sneak attack uh very very nice all right and let's go and send the last one up in here before we send that really quickly how we progressing how we looking i don't think we're gonna hit this new level but yeah it's good to check man it's good to check and that's what we're doing or giving it a quick little check mark, you know, tic-tac-toe three in a row, some, some, something motivational like that. Nothing more motivational than tic-tac-toe. Have you guys ever been inspired by something in your lives? Let me just say, nothing more inspirational than a competitive game of tic-tac-toe, which is, mmm, it gets you going, it's provocative, it gets the people going. And all right, let's go and continue checking these things out. No ATV transmissions for us directly today, but at least the other day we managed to cop that one, which seriously just, I can't, I cannot believe the luck of that. But there we have it. The deliveries are done for the day, and it's time to dive into the depths of this place. Already 50% of the way towards unlocking the equalizer. That, dude, I'm so excited to try that out because apparently it ignores either partially or fully the armor of your enemies. Uh, I'm just saying that sounds like the perfect big one murdering machine or I mean it's also might be useful for taking down uh, the blind one when he's in like when he hasn't run into a wall yet like definitely a few situations I can think of but for now I'm gonna go and store some of these goodies up in here that we don't directly need we've got plenty of firepower baby let's go and get it going and Travis I feel like he's gonna be excited to be back down here in the sewers and before we do head down we got a few more levels here on the battle pass cha ching I'll be taking those and ooh, baby we got a brand new motorcycle to go ahead and try out i believe next episode that justice skin is looking nice and we also did just manage to get another set of chopper parts and that's the awesome thing i believe these chopper parts are entirely on the free to play side of things so if you do manage to level up this high and i'm just gonna say there's a lot of ways to level up in this season you are going to have the majority of your chopper parts ready to go pretty marvelous if you ask me yeah <laughs> But all right, we're loaded to the teeth. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you this right now. We're going to do this sewer run very differently. Because if all goes according to plan, there is a way to clear three ladders 
in the port star you psychopath you mad lad what are you talking about you will see pay close attention but for now let's go and utilize some of these uh extra juice pistol drizzle shots we got lexi daddy to help out too look at that 24 damage on the base 46 off of the rip with the critical you love to see it let's go and take down these swamp floaters here lexi come on i need a little bit of assistance a little bit of a little bit of a uname also hopefully we can actually hit up some uh, some of these new ladder rooms as well i can also go ahead and uh what should we call sneak over here this is something i haven't really been doing but after you open that door you do have a few seconds to go ahead and start sneaking and you can get the sneak attack off on some of these enemies but listen man today's a special day we got that boost from the dealer uh we're gonna be taking full advantage of it dude we are going guns a blazing today and all right we're gonna have to get through uh, these shenanigans over here deactivate marvelous 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 hello swamp of blowtop please eat pistol drizzle brought to you by me i feel like these first few ladders are like never open or anything dude like they never seem to be open it truly is hello crawlers i did not expect to see y'all crawl crawling out of there i did not notice that event that could have gone poorly luckily it didn't hello carry on to die stay in the swamps where y'all belong those are seriously some of the they're not even tough enemies but dude they do 20 damage regardless of your armor and that's not what i was hoping for can i see some glass can i see some some of the good stuff here that ain't the good stuff man that actually might be the weakest or one of if not the weakest boxes i've ever seen down here in the depths of the sewer but anyways to do and prepare for what we are about to do you're gonna want to go ahead and uh uh, duh, duh. You're not going to want to climb up these ladders until you finish clearing out this entire place. Star, interesting. I know. I know. They all will become uh, clear soon. We're just trying to take this step by step over here because this truly is an insane thing. And if it does still work, because there's a possibility that this might get patched. So make sure that y'all start utilizing this uh, little trick absolutely ASAP to try and get the most bang for your buck out of these sewers because let me just say if you can start doing three ladder floors of the sewers every time around that is going to increase how quickly you're going to be able to get your motorboat which is definitely a nice step up as well and big money no whammy big money no whammy big money no whammy let's go you love to see a little bit of reputation and other goodies along the way so yes we'll be climbing up those ladders at the end it's just it, it, it you i mean we could technically climb up one of these ladders right now and still be okay but it is better practice to just kind of like hold off a little bit and hello mermaid man where's particle boy all right nowhere to be found that's all right just drop dead appreciate it and of course our still suffering damage from this we're not going to be able to open anything up but yeah it's just the best just best practice to do it this way take down the zombies clear out the floor if you want you should be able to go up one of the ladders but uh i just like to save the ladders uh, for the end when we are utilizing this all right all right all right i want to make sure that we can do this perfectly to a t and pull off this execution absolutely marvelously so there is the second ladder we're going to be able to make our way over there in a second hey hopefully we have some good luck coming our way too man because if this trick pays off oh let's dodge that if the trick does pay off and we also have some good pump luck honestly the next time the sewer respawns i'm just saying the motorboat is gonna be built baby it is so close to being within our grasp now that we have seen that we can get propellers uh, from the crate keys once we hit that certain level i believe we get propellers every time at least from what i've seen after you do get the single propeller from reputation points you pretty much are guaranteed the propeller after that which is uh definitely big news because that now means then we're good on propellers we have three more crane keys we will be able to build the boat engines we're just saving them off because you know no point in building those until we can build the rest of the boat you know just it just it'll it'll save us you know let us get some more reputation points and maybe get some additional goodies when we ultimately do open up the crane keys because the higher level they are the more loot we'll be having hello let's go ahead and do a little bit of a, a light reading over here via the terrain maps hard to go wrong with that and let's make our way back down here. We just got this end of this little hallway uh, to make our way over to. And then, dude, I don't know. I just, I'm crossing my fingers so bad, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Please do a little bit of finger crossing for me as well because, uh, juke. Let's juke that, juke that. No, thank you. No can do. No can do. No can do. Uh, and we haven't even used the big guns yet, man. We're saving those. We're saving the big guns for when we go up those ladders that's usually where the tougher enemies do lie that's where kind of like some of the mini bosses uh do end up being but uh hello how is everybody doing hello berserker i know there's about to be a berserker there's always a berserker here at the end of this floor not the toughest enemy in the world but uh you know all look at that man i love watching this m16 literally do 15 damage a pop with that boost that we do have man talk about a view but all right ladies and gentlemen please give me your power give me your strength smash that like button because we all know that YouTubers get their power from like buttons. I, I think it's a scientifically proven fact. Why, why is everyone asking for likes otherwise? <laughs> I kid, I kid. But 
I mean, dude, I really do need a little bit of good luck here because uh, we're currently at four pumps. Each one of these boxes has a chance of having a pump. We need six of them. So please, big money to win me, big money to win me, big money to win me, big money to win me. Let's go! Oh, we are on track, man. You love to see it. You love to see it. Oh my God, you don't understand. I went through like a dry spell where literally for two sewer runs, I didn't get like a single pump and it really threw us off track. We might've been able to have the darn thing built already, but unfortunately we did run into these uh, problematic issues. Yeah, it is, I mean, not much to be done. You know, bro, it is It is what it is. The game has forsaken us. There's not much more uh, to go with that. And oh my God, dude, I, I can't wait till one day we invest in this. That's not until we finish our motorboat though because those pumps have a uh, priority on some other things but all right we're going up ladder number one this one you should be able to clear out pretty normally if you do want to get this third ladder to appear we're taking this step by step just to make things easy but long story short clear out that base floor then you want to go over here to the first ladder clear it out as you normally would blah 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 it'll be good to go we do have an enemy over here at the end of this uh rather long and suspicious hallway well 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 it appears to be prime time for my friend the vss with the two hitter quitter and uh, can I get that other guy to attack us? No, okay, I'm just gonna uh, crawl past all these guys because I do not want to be dealing with all of them. And hello, we got a lot of fast riders to be dealing with. How are you doing? How's the wife? How's the kids? All right, well, thank you for telling me. Cool story, bro, cool story. They're dead now. They're dead. Their stories are uh, gone. All right. What are we going to get this shot grade ready to go to? It sounds like we're going to have a big old room of zombies on the other side. We'll have the... No, no, no. Let's walk that around a little bit. Go back up to full health via the magic of canned food, formerly known as canned beans. And hello. Hello, everybody. Shotgun rain. Some stay dry. The rest of y'all feel the pain. Shotgun rain. And marvelous. And let's go. We got this box over here. That generator still traumatizes me a little bit, man. I still remember... Ooh, piece of candy. I still remember that one time that we went down or went up one of these ladders and literally we had to move a generator and we couldn't pick it up because there was a glitch where if you have too many generators at home they don't let you pick it up it was ridiculous and hello shotgun train all right we only got two of them the floater bloaters did not appear effective but that's all right the m16 is here to be the cleanup crew i don't really care about what these guys are dropping they never really drop what we're truly interested for and only a few more uh rooms to go before all should be well let's search this things up let's go let's go I actually don't know, like, I don't think it's possible to, uh, whatchamacallit? I don't believe it's possible to get a pump from these, like, little side chests or anything, but, uh, you know, you never know, man. I mean, I would not mind a little bit of luck in that department. It sounds like there is a zombie here. Oh, hello! Wakey, wakey. Best brother. Eggs and bakey. Uh, this appears to be a long hallway. Long hallways are suspicious. Prime opportunity for the VSS to shine because, yeah, we got Stanky McStankface over here. Doing his thing, stanking up the hallway, and no, 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 I did not bring my desk mask. Please stay away. Your farts are awful, dude. I don't know what kind of a breakfast burrito that man had, but I don't want to have it. I, I might, I might harm myself if that's the case. That's a dangerous weapon to have locked and loaded, man. A burrito with that type of power. Gotta be careful. All right, we got some shotgun rain here, ready to go. Hello, everybody. Come on, come on. Please, please, please. Don't be shy, don't be shy. Shotgun rain. Oh, man, that one person was kind of lagging behind a little bit. Man, you don't get to feel the magic, the power of shotgun rain firsthand. I mean, you're lost, bro. You're lost. All right, and this uh, door is unfortunately going to be locked. This door is also locked, so this door has what we wanted. Hello, what we want is a lot of zombies. Apparently, that's all right, though, because if all goes square to play, shotgun rain. Whoa! That is when shotgun rain truly doth shine. And all right, we need some good luck again, man. We're up to five pumps. Halfway there in terms of pumping it. Let's pump it up some more. Don't you know? Pump it up. You got to pump it up. Please give me a... No, dude. No. Don't do this to me. This is brutal. Ugh. Well, that's a bit of an L, but all right, onwards we go. I believe we have gotten everything that this floor does have to offer. And unfortunately, it did not have a pump up for offering. Hopefully, there will be another one in our future. And hopefully, if we pull off this trick properly, I just want to make sure that I loot this chest back here. But if we do pull off this trick properly, there should be, I mean, hopefully, we'll have four chances at getting a pump. So if we can just get one more pump here, from this other floor and then we have a perfect pump run technically speaking we could have the motorboat by tomorrow otherwise it might be about two and a half days until we have the motorboat which is heartbreaking to say dude that pains my soul to say those words but the last there is not much more that can be done so anyways what we're gonna do is uh beep -ba -ba, beep -ba make our way over here and now 
This is the point of no return. All right, if you want, you, you, can, you can leave the sewer right now. You know, you can leave the sewer right now, chill. Go on and carry on. But here's what you're gonna be doing. This is the point of no return. As soon as you go up this ladder, you cannot leave. You cannot leave until the sewer location respawns. I got about 18 hours on my sewer location respawn. So I might be here for a little bit, but so be it. It's because I want to show y'all this. This is an awesome trick that was found actually by Resback. Huge shouts out to Resback Gaming. If you guys uh, don't know, we also have a video on it. So make sure to go ahead and check that. I'll go ahead and like link it in the description or something like that. But uh, this, the way that this works is pretty much if you do climb up this ladder, this is no point. This is the point of no return. Once you climb up this ladder, you are going to be stuck up there unless you want to mess this up, which you don't want to do. So after you climb up this ladder, you will not be able to explore that. Like you're, you're, you're going to be stuck up there. So you can actually wait until there's like maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes until the super location does respawn, for example, and then climb up there for like only a few minutes. And I'll go over exactly what does need to be done. But uh, anyways, we'll carry on. We are going to make our way up here. The point of no return. I accept you. Let's make our way up to the port because, uh, not, not up to the port, but make our way up to this hidden little room. Let's see exactly what kind of version of this event that we do have as well. And it does appear that we have long suspicious hallway there. Is this going to be the laboratory version or there's going to be like a lab of zombies? Hello, shotgun rain and marvelous. Nothing like a little bit of shotgun rain to truly help brighten a lad's day. I feel like I've gotten these versions of the sewers quite a little bit, but uh, it is what it is. Let's go some more reputation. But pretty much what happens is that, as you guys know, after you leave this location, you do get the little bit, uh, the ladder collapses behind you or whatever, right? But if you log off and log back in, for example, then you will, like, if you log off while you're in this location, then you, once you log back in, unless this does get patched, for example. Uh, so you do got to be careful of that and kind of keep tabs on things. But for now, it does still appear to be working. Thanks to that awesome thing that Rezback did manage to find. I think he found it by accident or something. So that's an awesome accident to be finding, baby. Let's wait for our shotgun rain to regenerate a little bit here. But uh, yeah, pretty much once you clear out this floor and collect the loot, if you log off, wait until the sewer respawns and then re-enter the location... Pretty much you will spawn back into this, like this, this floor, so to speak. You'll be right back here, baby. Shotgun train! And you'll be able to clear out this floor. And then once you exit this floor, you will still have... I'm not going to activate that yet. There's a bit of a better way of doing that thing. Oh, mama mia, mama mia. We got the toxic spewer. Do not want to be getting caught up in his shenanigans. And die, toxic spewer. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And shot a good rain to you. Goodbye, my kind sir. Yeah, so pretty much once you do leave this location... Or, I, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Pretty, pretty much clear out this floor as if it's normal. But then just at the end, you're not going to be leaving this floor until your sewer location does respawn. And that will hopefully uh, make some incredible things. Shotgun rain happen. Let's shotgun rain some more of these fast rudders. Uh, come on. Come one. Come on. We got plenty of shotgun rain. Uh, take all around. And yeah. There we go. We also got some boxes here. We already looted those up. We got this little room. We got to go and uh, make our way and take down this, uh, take down this big one. And uh, also, heal up a little bit. Our armor's getting a little bit dinked up. So you want to make sure to come here with plenty of resources as well. But uh, anyways, we need to just open up that door. We're going to open up this door. Hello, come on, come on, zombie shotgun train. Marvelous. A little bit of AK thunder to have some fun. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, activate this thingy magic. We are going to wait for him to start attacking uh, the turrets. We're going to wait until he destroys the first turret. And then we're going to go in as he's distracted with the second turret. And he will, you don't have to worry about him attacking you. This is just a little side note we've kind of discovered. Best way of taking things down. He's going to be busy attacking that thing, so you can just go and uh, have a little bit of fun. Uh, spread a little bit of shotgun rain. And AK Thunder to his back end. See you later, big one, Gator. And we still got a turret living. Woo! Turrets everywhere rejoice. And please, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy. Let's go! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That brings us up to six pumps, which means... There is a chance, it is a small chance, but it exists that tomorrow we can finish building the motorboat. It is a small, small chance, boys and girls, but it does exist. But worst case, it is lining up. We're at six pumps right now. Likely we might need two more sewer runs to get things done, but here it is. This is the trick. If you want a third ladder room, you're not gonna be able to get it the first time around that you do this. What you are now going to be doing is you're going to be chilling here. You're going to be waiting here. You're going to want to exit out of the game. 
once you do uh, finish this floor, once you finish getting your loot, all that jazz. So yeah, pretty much once you do clear out this floor, you need to wait on this floor. You cannot take that ladder down, but what you're going to be doing is waiting here until the sewer does reset. So you cannot do that. Otherwise, you'll be locked out of this floor. You literally want to log out on this floor and then just wait for that respawn to happen. Then you're going to want to log back in. After the sewer is reset, you'll spawn back in on this floor. You can clear it out. And then once you go back down that ladder, a fresh sewer will be awaiting you with two more ladders to go, which is freaking insane. So that right there is the game plan, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So after having logged out of the game, y'all can see we are now going to have to be here until this thing does update. Okay, y'all can see we still have all of our stuff that we got. We still got the two pumps that we got throughout the sewer run. Wish it was three, but at least we got two. And then ideally, once this respawn does happen, that floor we were just on, we will be able to run through again. And then once we exit that floor, a fresh sewer respawn with two fresh ladders will be awaiting us, which is freaking insane and definitely something I wanted to share with y'all. And hopefully y'all can get some usage out of it. Uh, this is likely... Go. I feel like it's going to be something that gets fixed down the line, but hey, make sure you go and make use of it while y'all can because there's seriously some good stuff to be had. And I mean, it pretty much gets you some more opportunities of getting the pump and uh, other various goodies, man. Like the sewer seriously does have some good stuff within it. But uh, there y'all have it. I'll be talking to y'all in about 18 hours and 12 minutes for a fresh run of these sewers. And hopefully if all does have gone according to plan, we'll have a triple sewer run ready to go. And if luck is on our side, Oh, mama. We'll have a motorboat ready to go as well. But that's going to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole lot for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.